Hey guys, it's Bobby. Um, early on a Tuesday morning, I realized that many of you have no idea what I get to do with FCA. And so I figured even though I can't fit it all into one video, why not give you guys a little sneak peek of what we do with FCA. So I'm going to take you guys on a, a Tuesday, just one day out of the week, just a little bit of what we get to do with FCA at SDC. Oh, Come on, let's go. Alright, we're at a coffee shop right now, uh, getting ready to talk to Steve Neal, former football player who played with the Patriots, won a couple of Super Bowls. You know, with our FCA huddles on Tuesday night, we really want to bring in some high profile guys every once in a while that love God and speak into the student athletes' lives. FCA gives me an opportunity to share my story, things I, I succeeded in, things I struggled in, and FCA gives me an opportunity to share my story and to pour into the young kids. Hopefully they can make better choices than I made when I was there. Alright, well, now we're done with our meeting. We are off to our next meeting with my intern for the year is one of my catchers, Carl Hudson. Kind of what we do consists of planning, looking at things that are coming up in the future, and also discipleship, working one-on-one, -on -one, getting to talk to each other, and really dive deep into what God has for us. All right, hey guys, uh, we just got done with our weekly internship meeting, and so I wanted you guys to get to meet Carl and get to hear from him a little bit. Uh, FCA is important to me because it's just a huge part of my testimony. I've been involved with FCA since about the age of 12. Some of the things that excite me about being an intern with FCA is just the opportunity to meet new people, athletes from other sports, sports who desire to grow in Christ like I do. Just really excited to meet new people who want to grow in Christ. It helps us with our discipleship of others, one-on-one -on -one meetings. It helps us get to be more personal with people on the FCA leadership team as well as who we're meeting with to help grow in Christ and uh, present the gospel to others around San Diego. All right, now I picked up some Chick-fil-A where I also work part-time sometimes throughout the week. It's time to head down to Torrey Pines Church where we're gonna have a work block with the other collegiate staff. But here we go. Now we're at the baseball field um, in Santee. I get the privilege of being uh, one of the assistant coaches here at San Diego Christian College and it works perfectly with my job with FCA. Uh, so here's a little sneak peek of what goes behind the scenes with uh, practices and me getting to point to the guys not only at huddles and Bible studies, but also on the field at practice. Hey, I'm Ryan Lislin. I play baseball here at San Diego Christian College, a student leader with FCA. FCA has meant so much to me. It's given me a community, it really plugged me into a great group of people, a group of people that I didn't think I would get involved with when I first got on campus, but they've made such a huge impact in my life. It has been a true blessing to me just to be able to share my testimony with people and just kind of hear, hear how God's working in other people's lives. And just to have a place to go to with my struggles, things going on in my life, all that. So it's been, it's been huge in my life. All right, hey guys, we're just getting ready for our huddle. So we have our pre-huddle student leaders meeting. So meet some of the student leaders. Our huddles have been led by our awesome student leadership team, serving 50 to 80 students every single week. We've had awesome guest speakers, great messages, and fellowship. All right, that was a long day, and you guys got to see a little bit about what we get to do with FCA. Um, I wish I could share all the ministry moments and all the different conversations, but just know that God is working and he's doing awesome things in this ministry. Thank you for supporting us. Thank you for encouraging us. Thank you for praying for us. And I can't wait to show you guys more.